happy Wednesday. Happy Glitter Pit Day. Happy Dawn Day. So happy you're here. I see a lot of you in the early bird chat. Oh, I love it. I love, love, love it. I couldn't hang out with you guys too much today because a couple last minute things I had to do. So, but everything is doing good. Hope you guys have a really nice 4th of July weekend if I don't get to tell you at the end of the video. So be safe out there if you're doing fireworks and all that. All right, let's go ahead and flip this over. I'm going to put this in picture in picture really quick. And we're going to do an early bird glitter spinner. I have these beautiful things. These are the ombre matte decorative dots. Aren't they pretty? Mm, love them. All right, so let's go ahead and spin it. Let me get my iPad over here. Just give me one second. All right, so in order to get into the early bird chat, all you have to do is just leave a comment during the live. We also have a end of the hour glitter glitter spinner, right? Not an early bird. It's a glitter spinner at the end of the hour, but you just get, leave a comment. The more comments you have, the more chances you have to win. So we're going to give these away for the early bird chat, and then I'll give you guys something at the end, all right? So let's go ahead and spin. Oh, come on. There we go. Yay. All right, here we go. Right here. Margaret! I think I have your address, don't I, Margaret? Let me write your name on this post-it note. Yay, Margaret! Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> B O U R G O I N E. You've got, what did I say these were? The ombre? I'll just put ombre. Ombre. All right, so Margaret, I'll get these dropped off to you tomorrow. Yay! All right, now we have the winners from last week's glitter giveaway. This is totally different. The glitter giveaway is on my website over here. Leave a comment starting tomorrow until next week and your name will be entered to win one of these two stamp sets I'm gonna show you in a minute. But we gotta announce last week's winners first. So let's go ahead and do the spinner. There we go. Ooh wee. Yay! Gina and Rena. Wow, your names rhyme. <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Your stamps have been mailed out this morning. Congratulations. Yay. Rena and Gina. Congratulations. All right, so let's go ahead and flip this back over here. All right, so now this week's glitter giveaway. Remember, you're going to leave a comment over on my website, which is right here. Starting tomorrow morning about 7 o'clock, there will be a blog post titled Timeless Arrangements Card Class Number 36. Yes, we're on 36 this week. So you'll leave a comment on that blog post and you'll have a chance to win one of these two stamp sets, all right? So make sure you pop on over there tomorrow morning. And this is the big hooray. This is, a, I think this is a photopolymer. Yeah, photopolymer stamp set. Awesome, big words, I love it. And then this is an amazing year. Now remember, this one is actually brand new, but these are from my personal stash, or I've gotten extra. So they are gently used, but they're still good. But they have been retired, okay? So I'm paying them forward to you guys. So leave a comment tomorrow morning through about next Tuesday-ish, and I will draw two names for next week's glitter giveaway and announce those winners next week in the live glitter pit all right congratulations ladies yay Woo -hoo! <laughs> all right now let's go ahead and do the earth the, not the early sorry not the early but the host code for this week this week's host code is i ran out of black ink but i got it don't worry i'm all fixed up now <laughs> that's why it's kind of dull compared to this one but this is this week's card card class kit number 36. Use this host code with your $35 minimum order and you'll get the consumables to make the three cards that we're making today. 
okay? In these kits, I'm hoping, you know, the sooner you place your order, the sooner I can get the orders sent out or the card kits. And then, remember, we're going away for the 4th of July weekend. We will be back on Monday, but no mail is running on the 4th, which is Tuesday. So the latest the kits will be going out would be Wednesday on July 5th, okay? So, but you only have until Saturday to use this host code to place your order to get the card kit. And this is only because it lets me know how many we got to cut for and prepare for, all right? So using this host code is very, very important. And your order must reach at least $35, okay? And then if you don't want the card kit and you still want a small gift, you can use this host code. This is going to be for a small gift in the middle to late Ju July, sorry, Middle to late July, you'll get this small gift. And then also do not use any host codes for your orders of $150 or more because you're going to get your own Stampin' Rewards from Stampin' Up. So that means free dollars to spend. And if you forfeit those, you're going to, well, you're going to forfeit them if you use a host code. So don't use the host code on a $150 order or more. Because you'll still get the card kit this week whenever you place the order during that ordering time between today and Saturday. When you place a $150 order between those days, then you'll still get the card kit. I'll write you down and I'll still send you the card kit. Just don't use the host codes for that size order, all right? Don't use the host code on anything on $150 or more, all right? Also, the designer paper is still going on. We have a few more days left. What is today? The 20, what is today? The 28th. So yeah, we have a few more days for the designer paper. Please take advantage of this because this is an awesome deal. You're going to get all the designer paper that is not the specialty paper, just the regular paper, which there are 13 packs or designs for the designer paper that are on special. So 15% off. That's really awesome. So that is going to end on June 30th, which is Friday, right? Yeah, Friday. This is ending on Friday. Oh my gosh, it's more urgent than what I thought. And then don't forget the sign up. The sign up starter kit is $99. You get to pick $155 worth of product. I would love for you to join my team. Don't forget, if you're on the fence about that, do that before Friday too, because that's ending on Friday. Ooh, but we're leaving on Friday. So if you have any questions, just email me or call me before Friday. All right. Also, we're using the special code, which is glitter for the glitter pit. If you want to try the carnivore crisp, I'm still offering this, this code that you get 10% off your order. Many of you have gotten your orders and you say they are very yummy, which I agree with you totally. They are very, very good. So they, my favorites are the brisket, the beef brisket, the ribeye, and the chicken, which is so, so good. And I know I had mentioned that it's kind of like, if you're thinking it's like beef jerky, it's not like beef jerky. Beef jerky is kind of like hard and you got to rip your teeth out almost. These are crispy and, oh, they're so, so good. So tasty. And it's 100% meat, 100% protein, no additives, no preservatives, just meat, Grass-fed meat and salt, Redmond salt. That's it. That's all it is. So give it a try. Use my host, my, not my host code, sorry. It is a code though. It's called, it's the, the code is for glitter. I also have the link down below. If you just want to click on there and just go shopping and you don't have to worry about the code, it will automatically link you up to get the 10% off. My mouth is watering because I'm looking at this bag because it's so good. <laughs> Seriously. And then we're making three beautiful cards using this bundle today. We're using the Timeless Arrangements. This is kind of like a sleeper bundle. Don't you guys think so? It's like so awesome. Now, I will say I'm making my thank you notes using this bundle. So I have an extra set of dies just to help me cut extras out because I have to make, you know, hundreds of thank you notes. And so I want to have an extra die. But this is the die. Timeless Arrangements. Remember, it's the same name as the stamp set, which this is the stamp set. The stamp set's got really sweet greetings, and they're very, um, they're mixed fonts. They're print and they're cursive -y. 
but they're so awesome. You can combine the greetings, which we're going to do on a couple of, well, actually all the cards today, I think, aren't we? No. One. No, we're not. We're not doing that. But you can, okay? And then we're also using some of these images down here, okay? So this is the bundle. If you guys are interested in getting it, this is the card, the three cards we're going to make using these items. The timeless arrangements. And then I'm also using the countryside corners for one of the cards, which is using the fresh freesia. So those are the dies that we're going to be using today on today's cards. And then also, just like last week, we used the artistic, what did I call these here? Hold on a second. Let me find it on my printable here. I'll show you the cards here in a second. This is the artistic mixed decorative mask. Remember, we used these last week on the cards. We're going to use this one, I think, with the moody mauve. And you guys might remember that card. I'm going to show you it in the catalog because that card, I fell in love with it when the catalog came out. And I've been wanting to make it. So today is the day. We're going to make that card, but I'm going to put my own little twist on it. And I'll explain all that when we get to that card, all right? So these are the masks we're going to use. Now remember, we used those last week also. Speaking of meat... You guys, look, Richard and I bought a whole cow and we went and picked it up yesterday. I'm going to show you this because it's like amazing. Our freezer is totally full. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? We were like sweating the load packing that up because we ended up using our two freezers in our house, which are just refrigerators with the upper freezer. Those are packed solid and this humongous freezer, which is out in our garage. But this was the meat when it looked like when we went and picked it up yesterday. Now, mind you, it was like at least a two and a half, three hour ride to go pick up the meat, drive home and then load it up and then unload it. So it was like a, a good while that we had to go take out of our day to go pick up the meat. But and then once we unloaded it from my car, this is what it looked like on the the garage floor <laughs> in bags so yeah and they just kept dumping trays and trays so what was really awesome is because they you know they send over the cow to the butcher and then we go pick it up at the butcher so what was really cool this time because we usually get a half a cow but this time we ended up getting two pounds of hamburger wrapped together instead of like making it in packages of one pound we ended up getting it in two pounds so it was really nice so we have like half two pounds because that's how Richard and I always make our hamburger anyway so we usually take two packages out but this way it's two pounds in one so then we have the still we probably have half of them in still like a pound but yeah we got so many steaks and ribs and oh my gosh it's so amazing and we got to get extra liver so we got lots of liver we love the liver and that, I know, I probably grossed some of you guys out. And then we got to keep a lot of the bones because we're, we've are we been making bone broth for our fasting days. So I'm excited about that. So needless to say, we have a freezer full of meat and it's so, so awesome. I love it. All right. So how is everybody doing today on this Wednesday? I've heard, I've heard from many of you in the early bird chat that you're getting a lot of fog or smoke from your... Um, from the fires up in Canada. We had a terrible day yesterday, the first time ever that I have ever noticed this in my car. It said my danger zone for the ozone level for breathing in my car, it like went red and it was like going up from 160. I don't know exactly what that means, but Richard autom automatically put on the air conditioner and he had the air circulating. So we ended up getting it down to like 60 by the time we got home. But yeah, the ozone layer, everybody's like, oh my gosh. It, it actually looked like it was going to rain or it was really super foggy, but it was such a thick condensed smoke. It was terrible. So, but my car was reading it and then I got into the house and I was thinking, what in the world is this pee? It was like PSM something with the code and then it had like the number and it kept going up. So, um, but yeah, it's affecting a lot of us and we got to be praying for the people in Canada, wherever that fire is. I haven't really watched the news to see where it's at. 
But yeah, it's going everywhere. So here in Michigan, Waterford, we're getting really affected with that smoke. Oh, love liver too. Oh, yes. Liver and onions. That's the way my mom makes it for us. And it's so good. I think we got a whole bag just of liver. It's got to be like... Now, last time when we got the half a cow, he gave us maybe six packs, which, you know, we probably would have got a couple packs. But then Richard said, hey, is this liver? And he's like, yeah, you want some extra? And we're like, yeah. This time, since we got a whole cow, and then Richard was saying, hey, you got any extra liver? He, liver? And he's like, yeah, nobody wants the liver. So he loaded up. I think we probably got at least 24 packs. <laughs> and when my mom makes it, She's like, it is seriously the best liver she's ever, you know, made, you know, because she she gets the liver from the store and stuff. So but now we got enough liver to make for our own. So, yeah, she said it's really good and it's really, really tasty. So but yeah, more onions, the better, Karen. I totally agree with you. I love liver and onions. We are having a ton of smoke here in Canada today. Oh, in Iowa. Yes, it's just terrible. Yes, an air alert. Yes, that's what it is. But my car was like reading it and it was like it kept going up and up. And I'm like, is my car on fire or what? What? I never ever experienced that before with the car where it was like this red number on my dash and then it came across the radio. It was like really weird. Yeah, my mom just fries it, Debbie. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, lots of onions. Now, back in the day when I was younger, when me and my mom, we used to just eat it because my dad didn't like it, but my mom would make mashed potatoes, and then we'd put the liver and onions, and then we'd use, like, the juices from the liver and onions as gravy on the potatoes. Oh, my gosh, it was so good. But we don't eat potatoes anymore, so that's a carb, so we don't eat that no more, but so good. Yeah, Richard likes the chicken livers. I don't really like the chicken livers, but Richard likes chicken livers. But he's he's likes the beef liver too now. So, all right. So, are you guys ready? Hi, Gina. I sent out your stamp today. Yay! Congratulations, girl. All right. So, let me show you these cards. They're so cute. Oh yeah. Also, speaking of kits, I just updated my shop. So, if you guys like to get the kits after you know after the um the live broadcast, like after the kits are all given out to my customers at place orders they get the kits for free but then i do sell the kits that i have extra so i do i did upload the zany zoo kit and the hey chuck kit so but there's limited amount that i have available but if you go to my website which is again dawnstampingthoughts.net and then go on the top toolbar where it says shop click on that and then you're going to scroll down to tutorials and kits and then it should drop down again and then you're going to click on previous kits. And in that link, you're going to open up all the kits that I currently have available. Okay, so you can go in there and, you know, I can combine shipping too for you. So you can send them all, I can send them all out at once for you. But it's while supplies last. So once they're gone, they're gone. So and it should update my cart. If they sell out, then they just won't be available. Okay. All right, so just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that because many of you guys like doing that too, all right? And this last week's kit, I have none left. I have, I had one, but then I had sent it out by mistake to another address, so I resent that out, but I don't have any of 35 using the textural, textured floral that we made last week. All those sold out, so I don't have any of, extra of those. So, and that's how it is usually too. And I like to make at least a couple extra just in case something happens during the shipping or, you know, whatever, whatever happens or it's like the last minute. I will say that I have been opening it up. If I do have a couple extra, if you guys end up wanting to place an order on Sunday, but I can't always promise that I have the kit. So it's like, like I said, it's first come first serve. As of Saturday at midnight, I have the list of how many kits I need. And then if I have any extra or Richard cut extra, then I can offer that Sunday. But then after that, they're going to go into my shopping cart. Okay. Yay. Oh, you love venison too. Yeah, we have some venison in our freezer. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and remove that. 
All right, so let me show you the cards. They're so pretty. And let me get my catalog too, because I want to show you this one card that was the inspiration for the third card we're going to make today. So I want to say it's back by the die cutting, the machine, right? Oh, no, right here. Oh, I just love this card right here. It's on page 154. I absolutely love it. But the thing is, I don't know what they stamped that you are so kind. I want to say it was with the starry sky or the orchid, op, uh, not the orchid opulence. Oh my gosh, that's an old color. The, um, what is that color? Starry sky and orchid. Oasis or so, Orchid Oasis or something. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it was that, but then I didn't like it. So this is my version. We're going to change it up a little bit. And we're going to add a couple butterflies. I don't think Stampin' Up! added butterflies. They used something else, like a mask or something. I don't know. If you look at the, the picture in the catalog, you can see what I changed. But I tried to totally case it. It's so beautiful. Now today... Because the ribbon or the, the twine that we're using, we're using the silver for the kit like it shows in the picture. But I thought since I'm using the gold, the brass butterflies, the gold twine would be really pretty too. So I'm going to just change it up just for today. But just know in your kit, you're going to get the silver. You're going to get two foot of the silver twine. And this is Simply Elegance Trim. This is in the holiday catalog or the big annual catalog. So, but I'm going to use the, the gold for today's card to show you that you could use the silver or the gold if you want to make these. All right. So, um, but that's the card I case from there. So pretty. And that's the one we're going to use the mask with to create our own little background. Oh, those colors are like so like beautiful together. Don't you think? And then this is card number one using the boho blue and the countryside in designer paper. Focusing on that. And then, of course, the two butterflies. You'll get the butterflies in your kit as well. And then I seen this beautiful card on Pinterest and I fell in love with it just because it's purple. So I'm totally casing that card too. I don't know who made it, but I love it. So we're using the Fresh Freesia Pool Party and the Coastal Cabana with the Lost Lagoon Stampin' Blends. So, oh my gosh, such pretty cards. And then Friday's video will be live, well not live, but we'll be posting another video. I will be live in the chat. But Friday's video at noon will be making my July thank you notes using the timeless arrangements, okay? So join me over there on Friday at noon Eastern, okay? Let me take a drink really quick before we get started. I had a meeting at 10 today and we were kind of cutting it short. So I have like all this coffee to drink in my cup and it's so good. All right, so card number one. Now I did do all the die cutting ahead of time just to save some time because we'd be on here for a little bit. Because there is a little bit of die cutting you're going to have to do and I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to do. All right, so let me see here. We got those are scraps. Now I cut mine out. Remember, you're going to have to cut all your pieces out. So you're going to get your boho blue piece of cardstock. This is cut at four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. Let me get my, what is that noise? <laughs> That's weird. Okay, so boho blue, and then you're going to get a piece of basic white, which is cut at, let me see here, three and three quarter by five. And then your countryside in designer paper. This is two and a half by three and a half. That's going to layer right at the bo very bottom of our card. Let's just go ahead and put all this together while we're doing this here. So two and a half by three and a half, countryside in. So Richard also has been working nights this week. So it's also thrown me off all this week. So he's working nights. Did I pop this up on dimensionals? Hold on. No, I didn't. So um, so he started on nights, but he's going to get Friday off. So Friday is when we're going to take off on our little road trip with the trailer. And we're going to put... Oh, wait. I got to put my strip. Now this strip of... Bon Boho Blue is cut at a half inch by three and three fourths. 
I'm going to put this onto my basic white because I think I cut it a little bit extra for mine so I can cut it at exactly right there. Okay, let me get my scissors so I can trim the edge off. I might have done that too with your kit. So we're going to trim the edge. So then you get a perfect alignment. Now we can put this onto the base. So pretty. I love this paper. It's so gorgeous. All right, now you're going to get your scraps of your balmy blue, night of navy, and misty moonlight. Okay, so these are the three colors that are kind of like in that designer paper pack too. So I did put measurements on these because when my husband cuts the packs of the you know, the packs for the kit, then he needs to know what the scrap measurements are, but these will not be written on yours, but the balmy, or, so I keep saying balmy blue, but it's boho blue. Did I say this was balmy? This is boho blue. Sorry. Boho blue for the base, boho blue for the strip, and then this is boho blue, and this is cut at two by four and a quarter, and you're going to see how you're going to cut your pieces, right? So you have your die cut here this die collection is like so amazing because the pieces all like build together to form your one layer and then I cut out extra so you're going to cut out those pieces for the balmy not balmy blue boho blue <laughs> I'm like ba balmy blue boho blue is kind of like the bubble gum the bubble bath <laughs> oh my gosh all right and then your misty moonlight is cut at two by four and you're going to cut these pieces out for that. So I have those right here. Okay. These are the leaves. And then you're going to cut out more of your little branches for that. And then your Knight of Navy is cut at two by three and a half. And you're going to cut out these pieces for your Knight of Navy. And it's seriously just a matter of building your layers. I think I only cut one of those out for the knight of navy okay so those are your pieces that you're going to die cut and then i did die cut out your rectangle from the um i think this is from the style of shapes i'm just looking at my directions here is it the style of shapes oh no it's not it's from the it's from the timeless arrangements right here that's how much i use the style of shapes this is from this die right here so i did I cut that out for you okay so we're going to stamp the greeting on that all right and then you're going to use your basic white pe oh you know what I didn't even color that those pieces out so I'm gonna have to do some die cutting with you guys because I didn't even do that ahead of time all right so let's get our flowers I have multiple blocks with multiple stuff on there okay so we're just going to stamp our flowers first this is your basic white piece you're going to stamp and color and die cut two of your flowers so this piece of scrap is enough to stamp two of your flowers and i'll have to cut this out with you i'm sorry i thought i had it done but maybe not guess not because i don't see them over here all right so let me show you how i colored this we're going to use the balmy is this balmy blue yes boho blue keep saying balmy blue oh it's not balmy blue it's boho blue and then we're going to stamp you uh you you make me smile let me find that on my stamps here you are so kind you make me smile yep so here's this now one thing with the stamp set you can pick any greeting that you want so i'm just using you make me smile we're going to stamp that with the boho blue onto your rectangle. And what's nice is that all these greetings from this stamp set right here, they should fit into your rectangle right here. They're, they, they pretty much all fit. Like this is the one I'm using here. You make me smile. You are so kind. You're my everything. I really appreciate you. It's just a really awesome stamp set. Okay, so I stamped You Make Me Smile with the Boho Blue. And then for the flowers, I'm just going to color. Pretty easy coloring. You're going to use both of your blends. 
I'm going to start with the light. Let me zoom in if I can here. Okay, so I'm going to start with the light. I'm just going to color the top of my flower with the light boho blue. Okay, and then take the dark and color the bottom. bottom of the flowers is what I'm talking about and then I'm going to take Lost Lagoon light and color the leaves okay so pretty look at that isn't that gorgeous all right now I'm gonna take the camera off of my face I'm gonna put this on to the screen because I really wasn't planning on die cutting with you guys I thought I'd already done it but I guess I didn't Okay, so we're going to grab my die cut machine, move all this stuff over here, zoom back out so you guys can see what I'm doing. These are all done. We're just going to die cut these flowers because I need them for my card. All right, so we're going to use the die cut machine, the stamp and cut and emboss machine. And we're going to use the platform number one, the shim number two and then the two acrylic plates. Okay, so we're gonna stamp, or we're gonna die cut out our flowers. Let me get my die. I'm gonna cut both of these out. And this lines up really nice. Okay, so we're just gonna die cut this out. Hopefully I did the other ones. Look how nice that is. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's do the other one. Oh, I'm flying off here. Okay, let's do the other one. Okay. Pretty easy, right? simple and it's really pretty all right like I said I hope I die cut the other ones out so we won't have to do that live that over there all right now it's just a matter of building behind our you make me smile and that could be for any kind of an occasion you know what I mean so that's why I went with it. But when you get your kit, you can use it however you want. Make it whatever greeting you want. I'm just getting all my pieces over here. All right, so the easiest way that I found to build these layers in the back is to put your layers together with this section down here. So you can use your liquid glue or you can use your stamp and seal, which is what I'm using. And I'm putting it on the front of... The, the branches or the leaves or whatever these are here. So you can see that there is a difference on the back side. It's more of like a, a blunt cut on the back. And then on the front, it's more like a rounded edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build up my Knight of Navy and my Boho Blue. <laughs> and we're just going to build these up around... This section here, I'm going to put my layer back here, put my adhesive on the back, and then you're just going to layer this in the back like that, okay? And then it's just a matter of putting the flowers inside, and of course you're going to have to put more glue or more adhesive back here so it sticks, but it's just building up that back frame, you know, and like making it look cutesy. And then if you have anything that ha hangs over like that, just cut it off. Because sometimes you move over a piece. Because these are the exact same thing, so I off-centered it. So you could see the Knight of Navy and then the Boho Blue behind it or in front of it. So you might have to, like, you know, offset it a little bit. But then it will hang over on the edge. But just a matter of cutting off that edge, you'll be fine. 
and then it's just a matter of putting your pieces. I'm going to put some leaves over here with the misty moonlight. Put a leaf back here between the flowers. And then maybe build some more around the edge here. See, it doesn't look very good from the back. <laughs> but nobody's going to see the back. All they're going to see is the front. So there's like individual branches like this you can cut. I definitely gave you enough of the blues to cut like different shapes if you want. But I like it the way it just sticks out. And you can position the single ones all by themselves off to the side. I'm going to take a balmy blue one here. And put that one over here. Okay, so there's my little cluster of wild flowers. And then we're going to pop that up on dimensionals. Let me get my black dimensionals. Hold on. Okay, we got my black dimensionals two of them on there and then it's just a matter of putting this over top of that boho blue piece just like that isn't that beautiful oh I love it with that paper and then you're gonna take your butterflies so then I gotta find my butterflies here you will get four butterflies in your kit they won't be with the card. They'll be outside of the kit. So they'll be tucked in the back with your thank you note. So then you're just going to use your butterflies however you want on your cards. But you're going to get two for each of your two cards. Just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. So you make me smile. And then here's the other one. So cute. Love it. All right. So that's card number one. Get card number two. Card number two. Oh, wait, we got to keep. Now, I do have like a little bucket. Let me show you what I'm doing with my extras. Because sometimes when you cut extras, you can make a whole nother card with your extras. So I'm going to put these. These are old like brads or um, embellishment cases that we get from Stampin' Up. And when we, well, when I finish off the kit or the container, I just keep the container. It usually has a lid too, but this is pretty big pieces here. But these are my extras. All right, so card number two is your Fresh Freesia one. So pretty. I hope I, I, I did do the flowers in this one. That's good. All right, so let's give you all the pieces. So we're using the thick basic white cardstock. Let me flip this over here. The printable is listed down below for card kit number 36. And it has the supplies we're using, as well as all the measurements of all the supplies. And then also the click to watch the video. That will be active tomorrow because my blog post won't be live until tomorrow at 7 o'clock. So, but that link will work tomorrow, just not right now. Okay, so your basic white is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then you're going to get another piece of basic white. This isn't the thick. This is just the basic white regular because the thick is the base. That makes the card stand up really nice. So the basic white cardstock is cut at four by five and a quarter. That's going to be the layer. And then your die cut for this piece is your Fresh Freesia and the Basic White. And those are using the Countryside Corners. Let me show you which ones I use for those. So I use the largest one for the Fresh Freesia right here. And then the next size down is with the Basic White. Okay. So those are the two sizes of these. These are amazing. If you guys haven't got those yet, they're awesome. They're like our old rectangles, but they're really an awesome shape. So now when you get your die cut pieces, your shapes here with Fresh Freesia and Basic White, you're going to die cut out your two flowers here. Let me show you these. You're going to cut out two of them and it's your choice. And you definitely have enough space to use your Fresh Freesia because this is going to layer over that. 
nobody's going to know that you cut it out. So if there's more things that you want to cut out with the, the leaves or the branches or whatever, you definitely have enough space, see? So feel free to use this space here to die cut whatever you want out. And I cut out these here for mine. Let me show you up close what these are. These are in that die collection. They're just individual flowers, like wildflowers. And then you're going to get your Coastal Cabana. And this piece, you're going to cut out quite a bit of those stems. You see that with the leaves? So you're going to get a piece that's cut at four by four and a half. And you're going to have enough to cut out your four pieces here. There's two there. And then your two separate leaves right over here. Okay? So you get a big piece of the Coastal Cabana. And then, or no, sorry, pool party. I'm sorry, that was pool party. This is Coastal Cabana. You're going to get a piece cut at two and a quarter by three and a half to cut out your sprigs here. I say sprigs, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So you'll cut your main sprig here, like this one. Let me put it on the white so you can see it better, maybe. Okay, and then you're going to cut out your two individual pieces. Or whatever you want. I mean, you don't have to make it like mine. I'm just showing you what I did. Okay, so these are those two pieces that you'll get without the die cuts, okay? So that's how you're going to cut those. And then you're going to get a piece of basic white. And you're going to stamp. Let me show you what we're going to stamp on this piece because I've already die cut them. Thank goodness. Okay, so you're going to stamp your three flowers. Let me get my flower leaf over here again. See, I put images and greetings so I won't have so many blocks over here. So I just doubled up on them. So you're going to take your piece of basic white scrap. And this is approximately three by four and a half. You're definitely going to have enough space to stamp your three leaf, or sorry, three flowers and your two leaves. So you're going to stamp your two flowers. Sorry, three flowers. <laughs> Stamp three flowers, and then you're going to stamp your leaves, which is also in this stamp set. So turn it this way. Okay, so stamp those on your scrap piece. And then we're going to use the Fresh Freesia and the Lost, La or, yeah, Lost Lagoon. Yep. And then you're also going to get your die cut for your rectangle to stamp your greeting. Okay. So let me show you how I colored the flowers and the leaves. Once again, like the boho blue flowers, we're going to start with the light fresh freesia. We're going to color the top part of the flower first. And then take your Fresh Freesia Dark and color the bottom part of the, the flowers. It does do its own like blending somewhat too, don't you think? It looks, looks so pretty. And then your Lost Lagoon Light is going to be for the leaves on the flowers. And then I'm going to color in the leaves that we stamped with the dark first. I'm just going to add a little bit of a shadowing around the sides of the leaves. And then we're going to go back in and color them with the light Lost Lagoon. See, that's all I did for the adding the dark. And then take the light and then color those in. Really thought the pool party and the Costa Cabana with the Lost Lagoon looks really pretty and really soft. Okay, 
that's it so those are my flowers and my leaves then you would die cut those out on your scrap with your dies okay so I've already got those done now it's just a matter of building the card so let's put all our pieces together put this over the fresh freesia nobody's gonna know you cut that out unless they take the card apart which they probably won't because they'll love it and we're gonna build up our layer here with dimensionals put this onto the basic white piece right in the center okay and then you're going to build your oh we got to stamp our greeting too let's stamp our greeting which is i really appreciate you we're going to use the memento ink for that let me get the right stamp here where is it at i really appreciate you so this would be a really nice thank you note so we're going to stamp this right in the center of this rectangle isn't that pretty with the print and the cursive -y? So nice. And all the greetings are like that in this stamp set. It's beautiful. All right, now we're just going to build our layers like we did with the other, the first card. So we're going to take the strip down here and we're going to put our adhesive. Let me use liquid glue this time so I can show you. You can use whatever adhesive you want. The only thing with the liquid glue is you're going to have to hold it, but that's no big deal. Just put a little bit. Don't use a lot. And then you're going to build. Remember, you're building the front on top of the, the back, you know, because you can see the difference here. Hopefully, can you see the difference with that? Can you see the difference with the back side and then the front? It's more like finished. And then this one is also the same. Got to punch out the little things there okay so we're just, oh we're gonna layer these together the Costa Cabana over top of the pool party isn't that pretty with those colors oh I love it all right and then we're just gonna oh you know what that's not what I did I'm building this onto the sides oh yes I did I did do that all right so we're building this up on the side over here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this apart that's what I did. I'm going to put adhesive on that. I'm going to put adhesive on the sides of my, I really appreciate you. Okay, because we're going to build up this corner over here on the left and then this bottom right corner over here on the, the right hand side. So we're going to build up this side over here and then take that where I cut it in half. We're just going to be build. now you're going to be cutting off the excess because you can see the excess right here but that's no problem you're just going to remove it with your scissors now there is a chance that you might be able to cover it up with all the stuff we're putting on the card or the slayer right here with the flowers so we're going to put our flowers on here i need more adhesive don't be afraid to put your adhesive on the back you're building this focal image here. So I'm going to put my flower here. And then I'm going to put another flower over here. Like that. And I'm going to put my other flower. I got three flowers. Put my other flower down here. Well, put it right down here. And there's no right or wrong to do this and then it's just a matter of filling in the extra space around these layers with all your little leaves put this one right in here this one's going to go on the left And then fill in the gaps 
where you need more like filigree kind of then don't forget your little fresh freesia flowers tuck them in there It looks like it's overkill, but it really makes the card look so much prettier. I love it. I'm going to actually put this one down here. Oh, that one fell out. That was in backwards. Once you put the flowers on, I need more adhesive. Once you put the flowers on, you can tell that they're on front or back, you know, frontwards or backwards. It just looks more finished with the front. Stick this one up here. Look how pretty that is. Ugh, I love it. And then you got extra leaves here too, so you can fill in. It's kind of over, like over the point of where I was. Well, not really, I guess. All right, then we're gonna put our dimensionals on. I'm gonna put one extra right here. And this is going to go on to the front of that basic white layer with the country corners right here. Right in the center. Just like that. Oh. And then you're going to get in your kit, you're going to get these. These are the tinsel, the tinsel gems, the three pack. These look like fresh freesia to me. I'm sure they are, but you're going to get two of those in your kit. And these will be tucked up inside of your envelope with the card. So make sure you don't throw your envelope or, you know, because those will be inside there. Okay, there's that. And then we're going to pop this up on more dimensionals onto the thick basic white. here do you guys remember having shimmer paint i would so spritz this with shimmer paint if i had that still you know like i mean you could still take like the wink of stella but shimmer paint you know how we mix that with rubbing alcohol oh i love that stuff so there's your card number two so pretty and then let me show you the other one here's this one so pretty all right, so card number two is the Fresh Freesia. Okay, number three. Now, the only reason I made, because these are like no fun fold cards. These are just beautiful, um, elegant cards. But the third card was a little bit more involved, I felt like, because we're doing the blending brushes and the mask. So let me get all the pieces for this card. Actually, let me move this stuff out of my way. All right, we're gonna use the boho blue for the greeting on your very vanilla piece, which will be die cut for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp that first. And we're going to give you all the measurements of our pieces here. You will get um, the regular basic white and you'll probably get a vanilla or maybe maybe it's a white envelope with this one, but um, I'm not sure what we're doing, but I'm, you'll get an envelope for all the cards, okay? So you're gonna get your pieces to die cut. Oh, it looks like I gotta cut the flowers out with this one, sorry. I thought I was more prepared, but anyway. All right, so let's start with the base, the Moody Mauve. This is one of our brand new in colors. Moody Mauve is your five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. My bone folder. And this is the piece we're gonna mask with the blending brush. And then you're gonna get a piece of very vanilla for the inside of your card base right here. But for the sake of the stamping today, I don't think I, yeah, I don't, I haven't, I need another piece of this. So I'm going to use this one to stamp my flowers. But you'll get enough to stamp your flowers and then one piece for the inside of your card as well. All right. 
So then these are your scrap pieces of the colors you're going to use to die cut all your leaves and stuff. This piece of soft sea foam is three and three quarter by four and a quarter. So I'll flip my card here. Okay, so three and three and three quarter by four and a quarter. You can see all the pieces we cut out here. And then your balmy, or sorry, not balmy blue, your boho blue is two by four and a quarter. And then the mossy meadow is cut at two and a half by four and a quarter. And you're gonna cut out your two pieces for that. And then you're gonna have another piece of the very vanilla to stamp your flowers. So we're gonna stamp the flowers again. It won't be this big of a piece, I don't believe. Because this is actually supposed to go inside of your card, but I don't have the extra vanilla piece. I didn't cut it for myself. Okay, so two of your flowers. And we're going to use the boho blue, again, to color our flowers. We're going to color them the exact same way that we colored all the other ones. So we're going to color the top with the light. the dark. This is the Boho Blue Stampin' Blends. Brand new in color. So rich looking. And then again with the Lost Lagoon, I think this, yep, the light with the, the leaves. Okay, let me go grab the die cut machine. over to the side okay. okay we're gonna cut out our flowers Hold that plate down until it gets into the cutter so it doesn't move so it gives you a nice edge so let me show you here so I'm going to put it on there the die and you can use the post-it note tape or washi tape I'm going to take my plate I'm going to tuck this underneath here and then I'm going to hold it down so it's tight here so you can see my thumb holding that plate and then I'm going to crank that through, and then once it reaches the cutting part, then I let go so it doesn't move. And then you should get a nice cut-out image there. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. All right, so we got those done. All right. Let me get my boho blue again. We're going to stamp our greeting on our rectangle. This is again in vanilla, very vanilla. And we're going to stamp, you are so kind. What does this one say? You make me smile. No. Nope. This one is, you are so kind. And the boho blue. I got some adhesive on my grid paper, so it's like... Do my bossing powder on that so it won't be sticky anymore. All right, so we're gonna stamp You Are So Kind in the Boho Blue. Now, this is where I changed it up because I wasn't sure if the Orchid Oasis, that's it, Orchid Oasis. <laughs> I didn't know what color blue they used on the, the card in the catalog on page 154, so I thought with the flowers and all that being in boho blue, it would look better with the boho blue. So that's what we changed it to. All right, now we're going to use our blending brush and our Moody Mauve Classic Ink. 
and we're masking. Remember, we're going to take our mask. Let me get that out. I just keep my mask together with the paper clip. So I know that those all go together. And I even got the little reverse and the die cut images to use. These little clips you can get at your um, office store. We actually used to sell those, but all right. So um, now you can also tape this down if you want, if you feel better so it doesn't move. But I'm just randomly adding the ink to this background. So it's not going to be fully covered. It's just going to be randomly place some ink. So I'm going to ink up my blending brush. Stamp off a little bit because it's really dark. And then I'm going to start... If you don't want to get that blob, start in the center. I would say start off, but the cover or the center is going to be covered up. So if you start kind of dark here, then it won't show because you're going to cover that up with the focal point there, that layer that we're making. So I'm just kind of doing like an X shape in the center and the sides, and then I'm kind of blending that out. And you can always look at it to see what that looks like. Oh, that looks really good. Then you can add a little bit more maybe up here. Add a little bit more over on this side here. Over here. There. I think that looks really good. Oh, yeah, that looks nice. So that's my background on my card. And then when you're ready to clean this off, you can take it to your sink and just run it with water. And, you know, take your um, hand and run, run, run it across it with the water. Or you can take your Simply Chamois and clean that off. It doesn't take much just because we are using a water-based ink with the uh, Moody Mauve. And then I would do both sides just to make sure I got it off. Because there's nothing worse than using like a yellow and then you forget to clean it. And then you come in with the turquoise and then you got green. <laughs> I mean, unless that's what you're going for. So just take the time to clean out your mask and then you can put it, get it ready for your next card. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to put this here so I don't lose it. All right, so this is my card now. Just randomly added the masking on the background just to add a little bit of interest and texture to that. All right, now this is where I'm going to take my gold Simply Elegant, I think that's what it's called, Sim Simply Elegant Trim. You get gold and silver in your package, and you're going to get 24 inches. At least that's what I'm estimating when I did it. I wrapped it around my hand, so I took a little edge off here. And then I just opened my fingers, and I just wrapped it around a few times. And then I'm going to cut that. And then it's going to like just kind of open it so it's like kind of frayed out a little bit. Wait, let me do that again. I'm going to put some adhesive down in the center first. That's all going to get covered up, but I'm going to pay I'm going to put my trim down first. So I'm going to open that up. Wrap it around my hands. And then I'm just going to make it loose to fit on the card. And stick that down into the adhesive like that. I mean, it, it doesn't look very good like that. Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> and then once we get the layer on there, you can actually trim that down. But I want it to be sticking out. I want it to be kind of loopy there. You know what I mean? All right, so we're going to go back to our layering of our focal point of our car. We're going to put adhesive on the back. I'm going to actually put it on the bottom and the top because this one's going to be all over it. So we're going to put our little piece right here. And then we're going to turn it and put this piece down here. Okay, put adhesive. Whatever way you decide to do it, whether you want to build it first, like with the individual pieces, or just build it like... um like I'm doing right now. I'm going to put this one like to the side. Wait, I got to trim that off. Hold on. I forgot. We got to trim this. My scissors. Of 
Where's my scissors? Hmm. Does anybody see my scissors? There they are. <laughs> that's not good. All right, so trim your mossy meadow because that's going to go up to the top in the center. And then this one's going to go down at the bottom in the center like that. Okay? So, and you can trim it when you get it on there, but I feel like it's better to cut it in half. And then you're going to trim this one in half. Put more adhesive on the back. The back side is really ugly. Don't look at that. Then this is going to come over here to the side with the boho blue. Okay, and then we're going to put our flowers that we die cut. Put one over here and then one over here. Oh, we got a little battery just popped up. If I didn't have to do the die cutting, we wouldn't have to worry about that. We're going to put this one over here. And then you're just going to take your extra little pieces. Here I have more soft sea foam over here. You can do more or less too. It doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong. Okay. Well, that's not sticking there. My fingers are sticky. It's sticking in my fingers more than it is to the layer. <laughs> there we go. Got one more over here. Stick that one over here. Oh. Put that in the back. And then I have another mossy meadow I'm going to put over here. No, I'm going to put it over here. There we go. So there's the layer for the front of the card. See, then this is going to layer over the gold. Like that with dimensionals. Wherever you can put the dimensionals on this one, because this one's kind of crazy. <laughs> But you got to do what you got to do to get that, you know, the positioning of all the layers so they show all the pretty colors. And then you can make your loops bigger, looser, whatever you want right here. And then this is going to go right in the center like that. See, and then you can cut these. I like the sprigs sticking out with the ends there, the gold. You see it? And then with the gold, the brass, sorry, they're not gold, but the brass butterflies, it kind of brings that all together too. So you're going to get your two butterflies to put on that. Put one over here. And one up here. I'll show you the silver one again. But you'll get silver in your kit. But I just wanted to show you if you wanted to make it, when you get this twine, if you want to make it with the gold, you can... So this one was a little bit more loopy with the silver, but it looks really nice. And then this one's with the gold, the gold trim. Okay. So pretty. I love it. I love this card. This is my, probably my, well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just excited to make it finally. Okay. So those are your three cards. I'll bring those all back in here in a second. Just let me pick up my mess. You guys have any questions about today's card or today's cards I should say let me put my dies on here so I don't lose them okay all right let me put all my extras in my little bucket here So do you guys have any plans for the 4th of July? Are you guys doing anything? Going anywhere? Going to fireworks? Anything? Anything? 
Let me put this back. I forgot to put this back in picture in picture. Sorry, guys. Hi. <laughs> I forgot to do that. All right. So let me show you the, the three cards again that you're going to get with your kit. Remember, you're going to get all the consumables to make all three cards. And this starts today through Saturday to make these three cards. Aren't they pretty? Such a like a simple stamp set, really, to make it look so over the top, like, like soft and like wow, right? It is all the layering too, so. But you definitely got enough cardstock in your kits to do all the die cuts, whatever you want to do. Oh, you're going up north, yay! Yay, Gina, you're going to have a great time heading to Beaverton, Michigan. We were thinking, because it's supposed to rain everywhere we went, we were thinking, well, we want to do some riding, you know, so we're heading to Virginia. But it's supposed to be raining, like thunderstorming. And then we thought, well, maybe we'll go to Traverse City or maybe we'll go to Cleveland, Ohio. Everywhere is raining. <laughs> so we're just going to go hit and miss, do whatever. We're just going to take a chance. Not out of town plans, just barbecue at the house, spend time with the family and fireworks. That's awesome, Nicole. Yay! Um, Let me go back here, see what else you guys are saying. We'll do another glitter spinner here in a second, all right? Thank you. Somebody said they don't know which one's their favorite. They're all beautiful. Thank you, whoever said that. I just seen it come through. Oh, it would make a pretty Christmas card, wouldn't it, Nancy? I agree. Number three is my favorite. I think mine too, Terry. I love it. And when I seen that, it's in the, it's in the annual catalog on page 157. I love it. I loved it when I seen it. Everybody likes card number three. Thank you, Joanne. All right. All right. You guys ready to do another glitter spinner for the end of the hour? I have these 2021 through 23 in color oval opal rounds. Okay. Let me go ahead and do that. And then here's the host code again if you guys are wanting to do that. This is for the small gift, and then this is for the card kit, okay? Card kit number 36 that we just made. All right, let me get my iPad over here. My mom is calling. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll call you when I get done. <laughs> oh, thank you. Is it Margie? Thank you. I used to have a, well, I have an Aunt Margie, but she's passed away now. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get my spinner. Yay, more bling. <laughs> yes. All right, let's do it. These are for all the comments during the live stream. All right. Right here. Jan! Yay, Jan! You got the opal rounds. Let me write that on here. I have your address too, right? Oh, look, my low battery. Woo! We made it just in time. All right, Jan. Jan. Kohler. All right. Yeah, C O L L A R. All right. So, look, I got the low battery. Oh! I got 5%. Yikes. All right. So any other questions before I leave? We're going to be heading out Friday. So like I said, the kits will go out as soon as we can. Um, we'll be back Monday. Monday, maybe afternoon, Monday night. But we'll definitely be back before the 4th of July. So we'll be here live Wednesday. Also, don't forget to check check out my video on Friday. I'll be live in the chat room with you guys at noon on Friday over on YouTube. And I think that's it. Have a happy and safe 4th of July, you guys. Eat lots of fun food and have a great time. Just be super safe. 
And I will see you guys next Wednesday. I love you guys. I'll see you then. Bye.